It's just, just going to show you some software features of the phone, starting with the TouchFlow 3D user interface on the uh, Touch Pro 2 here. As you can see, we've got quite a nice uh, looking user interface, um, nice big flip clock. Uh, and this is the main home screen here where you can also see the date, the call history, uh, and also different appointments in the calendar that you can uh, directly go into there. Uh, at the bottom, we've got these icons just for flipping between all the different TouchFlow 3D screens, and then some uh, shortcut keys, and obviously the notification bar at the top there just pop across to this first pane and we've got the people pane uh, as you can see we've got um, you can put favourite contacts in here, this isn't all the contacts just uh, a selection of your favourites with their contact images for you to scroll through you could also select them from the side here um, I've only put four on there but you can actually have more than four um, got the name here and then obviously their main number is underneath uh, and you can dial their main number with this first little phone uh, button here, and then the second one here with a little sort of office building on it is for the uh, work number. Uh, and then you can write a text message or an email from these other two buttons if uh, an email account is obviously um, pre assigned to the contact. Uh, let's move on now to the SMS pane for SMS and MMS messages. As you can see, we've got this nice white floating text here. If we just slide our finger down the display, it should um, change to the next message. As you can see, it's quite nice looking quite intuitive interface. Uh, here you can see in the email uh, pane we've got three unread emails as you can see from that little uh, green circle there in various different accounts which again we've got down the side here we can select different accounts simply by uh, sliding our thumb up and down between these little icons uh, and you can go through your messages again just by swiping up and down on the display and just to go into one you just tap it and we should get it full screen like that. I also get this little option here to uh, call the sender. So if I just tap that button, it would directly call the um, default number for Peter Griffin there. Let's move on to the next pane. We've got the weather pane. Oh, just missed that. Uh, and it shows you current weather in various different areas. Again, you can just swipe down to go between different areas that you can preset from a, a large list of different places. Um, and then the bottom here will show you the next four days forecast as well. Um, so here we've got not very nice weather in Tokyo by the looks of things. Um, go along to the next one which is the internet pane uh, and you can just launch the browser with this big launch browser globe button in the middle or we can search Google there with the search bar at the top. Also got YouTube that this uh, seems to be preset to the top shortcut there and then you can set up to four different new push pages which the phone will automatically download for you at preset intervals so um, if just Tap on the mobile boom one here now that should pop up fairly quickly because it's downloaded uh, one day and two hours ago apparently which is a bit long for my liking but there we go as you can see it's very tactile very quick to load up the page and uh, very quick to move around which is quite good I'll just exit out of that um, as you can see at the side here is where we've got these little green arrows which uh, just mean that the device has actually updated these pages uh, and then once we've actually look, looked at them, uh, the arrow greys out there to tell you that you've actually read the page and there's no new information for you to look at. Let's move along to the next one, which is the Photos and Videos pane. Uh, and you can just, again, swipe to scroll between all your different photos and videos. Photos just come up in rectangular boxes, you can see there. Or if we uh, scroll on a few more to find a video. Let's have a look. There we go, we've got a video here and it's got like um looks like sort of a frame of film there at the size just shows video. So if we tap on that one that'll um open up in landscape mode and just play us a quick video. In full screen mode there. Alright, so as you can see here it's uh the same with the photos as well. If we just tap on a photograph uh, that opens up full screen and then we can just swipe across like this on the display to um, switch between all our photos uh, and any videos that pop up we just pop up with um, a play button and we can uh, play that straight there in the in the viewer there we go alright just go back from that um, once you're in the photos and videos menu as you can see at the top here we've got the uh, these little icons for camera and video camera. If we 
tap either one of those it'll open up the respective camera just uh, check something on the floor here to take a photo of just got the phone there we um, have got the shutter button at the side here and you can just um, give that a tap as you can see it just zooms first and then takes a photograph uh, just go back into the gallery take a look at that and as you can see we've got all the photos we've taken here that we can um, swipe through and have a look at just tap on that one and there we go, there's a photo of the phone